Hello, my name is Vilma. I am a therapist in traditional medicine and a facilitator in energetic techniques. I have been doing free group sessions every week since March of this year on my Facebook page, Evolutionary Bioenergetics. I will leave you the link to that page and more information in the description box below in case you aren't familiar with my work. People feel very good during the sessions, both those who connect live and those who watch the recordings afterwards. However, due to the current situation going on around the world, some people start to feel overwhelmed by their minds a few days later. They might have fatalistic or obsessive thoughts, anxiety, fear, etc. And when I ask them if they would like me to offer them a workshop to learn tools so they can put their minds at their service, they said yes. So I developed this workshop, Subconscious Mind Mastery. And in this presentation, I will explain what it consists of. So welcome and let's get started. This workshop is based on the need of people to optimize the resources they already have within, but haven't learned to take advantage of. Schools don't teach any of this. We have all those sabotaging thoughts that convey fear, reluctance, insecurity, that lead us to doubt ourselves, and in extreme cases, to have a nervous breakdown deep sadness, and even panic attacks. So what's the benefit of this workshop? With proper training, the mind can become your personal assistant, and with it, you can transform your reality and increase your quality of life through techniques, tools, and exercises that are simplified, yet powerful at the same time. You are about to discover a gold mine that lies within you. Once you learn how it operates, you can change the, your whole life. We will examine the mind in its basic functions and different operation modes. Knowing this gives you great advantages. It's like having a manual of your mind. It has many functions, but without knowing how it works, you miss out on all the benefits it offers you, how to put all that to your favor so that it serves you to produce the results that you want. This is the key to ending self-sabotage. So the conscious mind is where we operate mainly when we are awake, when we are using our five basic senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. These are our external senses, precisely because we use them to interact with the outside world. In the subconscious level, we have memories and stored knowledge. These are the things that we have learned by repetition and that we no longer have to think to do because we have integrated them. It could be your morning routine where you have already established the time you get up. If the first thing you do is go brush your teeth, for example, take a shower, get dressed, have breakfast, wash the dishes, drive your car to, uh, to school or work. You don't have to, con to consult a map to see where to go because you already memorized the path through repetition, and it's already in your subconscious. The first time you sat behind the wheel of a vehicle to learn how to drive, you had to pay close attention with your external senses to the dashboard, the pedals, the steering wheel, the gear lever, look around and check for other cars on the road or pedestrians, and learn to distance yourself by coordinating your movements and so on. As you continue practicing it, you integrated it until you reach the point where you no longer have to think about driving. 
now while you drive, you could be singing at the same time or talking to a passenger, listening to an audiobook, remembering pending issues or maybe the meeting you are driving to. You are thinking about other things and when you least expect it, you have already arrived at your destination without having to check if you were pressing the correct pedals, how you held the steering wheel, if you are in the right gear, and so on. You kept your external senses focused on the surroundings, but not on the action of driving itself, because practice and repetition led you to integrate all of that into the subconscious, and you made it an automatic process. And even if you can't drive, you'll learn to ride a bike in the same way. And if you don't know how to ride a bicycle, you can surely walk, tie your shoelaces, etc. You repeated all that until it became automatic. And that happens when you have already registered it in the subconscious. Once we, we become familiar with this, we notice how simple things can become when we cultivate them, even though at first they may have seemed like a challenge. This also produces neurological changes. It is called brain plasticity. It is the ability of the brain to adapt and change as a result of behavior and experience. Until the 1960s, the scientific community believed that changes in the brain structure could only take place during childhood. In adulthood, brain structures were believed to be unflappable. Currently, we know that the brain continues to create new neural connections and alter existing ones in order to adapt to new experiences, learning from behavior and new information to create new memories. And the non-conscious is where we store the information that determines many of our beliefs and ways of thinking, emotional management, reactions, all behavior patterns, which origin isn't obvious, the way we respond to certain situations and events, where many times not even we ourselves understand why we react the way we do. This is especially noticeable with fears, phobias, impulses, manias, rage, outbursts, and so on. People who ask me if this workshop is about affirmations and positive thinking, the answer is no. People do all these things at the conscious level right up here. But if they have blocks or limiting beliefs in the subconscious and unconscious, it may not work for them. In fact, it is very likely that they have such blocks. Otherwise, they would not be trying to change something through affirmations and positive thoughts, would they? Can positive thoughts work? Well, it's not impossible, but here's what happens. You would have to build your positive thinking phrases in a way that effectively manage to dismantle said blocks. But since you don't know what they are, precisely because they are non-conscious, it will depend on whether you guess or not, let's say, or that you use a lot of willpower to be repeating the same things for months or even years, wishing it works. It's a very slow process, and ultimately, you don't know if it will pay off or not. So to do this job of putting your mind at your service, we can not go directly from the conscious to the non-conscious because of what I just explained. There's something in between these two levels, which is your subconscious mind. And by putting the information there is how we get it to permeate into the non-conscious. See, most people operate primarily in the left hemisphere, which is the analytical side. It's, it's what has been stimulated the most and what we use in school to study 
and all those things. And then with this uh, workshop, you will learn to go into your subconscious mind to operate from the right hemisphere. This workshop is a compilation of many years of study, practice, and research. Self-knowledge is a subject that has always interested me and that I began to cultivate from a very young age. I have read lots of books. I have taken trainings, workshops, and seminars. And although all contributed to me at the time, there were still missing pieces. And I discovered those things myself through continuous practice and with my own research. That's what was, that was what finally allowed me to connect the dots and be able to apply all of it in an effective way. And that result is what I am going to share with you in this workshop. I'm going to teach you the essence, the substance, so that in less than a month, you can learn to apply what took me years. I would have loved to have a training like this. However, you are the one who has that opportunity now. Who is this workshop for? Anyone who wants to know more about themselves, their capabilities, how to enhance them, to apply them in all life areas teenagers and adults of any background with no previous knowledge required, students that wish to improve their academic performance, people interested in having adequate emotional management that allows them to be in charge of their mood where you run your mind instead of your mind running you out of control, those who wish to leave behind old patterns to acquire new habits, being able to implement them without the typical resistance of the sabotaging mind. Although the content of this workshop is based on science, everything is explained in a simple language that anyone can understand to start applying this from day one. It's about making things easier, not to rebel ourselves with theories and scientific terms that would otherwise demand more studying time. Actually, that does not provide more benefits in terms of using these tools and the results we can achieve if we go directly to the practice. What skills will you acquire by taking this workshop? You will learn effective techniques, techniques tools, and exercises to transform your daily reality. The mind learns through repetition. By cultivating this practice, you can achieve subconscious mind mastery. You will learn to access your subconscious mind at will, quickly and simply, at any time and in any place without the need of external elements. You will identify different modes of operation of the mind to use them at will in order to achieve your goals more easily. You will learn to introduce information into your subconscious mind to eradicate old patterns and implement new habits that you wish to acquire. To be in charge of your thoughts, emotions, and mood. When you learn to be calm, you acquire the ability to release stress instead of accumulating it. This is beneficial for everyone, especially for those who are destabilized by depressive states, anxiety, panic, compulsion, tantrums, impulsiveness, obsession, fickleness, volatility, etc. So what does this workshop include? It consists of three modules of approximately two hours each. I say approximately because it will depend on the number of attendees and the questions that might arise. It's going to be one module per week through the Zoom platform. What is the mind? 
what are its functions and the first steps to change old patterns. What is neutrality and how to quiet the mind. You will choose a project you want to start or finish if you have been procrastinating. We will see practical cases with scientific foundations. Uh, you will learn how to turn off self-sabotage and change your perspective. Use other parts of your mind, your internal, internal senses, through the subconscious instead of incessantly repeating positive phrases and affirmation at the conscious level, hoping that someday they'll work. There's going to be a, a private support group on Facebook and exercises and tools between modules to impulse, to impulse your practice. At the beginning, we will review the main block of each participant to eliminate it and facilitate the process. I'm going to do that. I'm going to eliminate that block. At the end, I will do a private session with each participant to review the progress, doubts, and final comments. All modules are live, and the material between sessions is assigned specifically for the group. So there may be some variations in future workshops. What do you need to attend? A desktop computer with a microphone and camera, laptops, tablets, and smartphones already have the integrated microphone and camera. Internet connection, of course, an email account from Gmail, paper, notebook, a pen, and a mirror. People who are not used to video conferencing must make sure to have someone to help them enter the live session so they are on time in the virtual room. Also with the navigation of the Facebook support group. Of course, attend to the live modules and if you can't make it live for whatever reason, uh, watch the recordings and follow the activities. You don't make this commitment with me. The commitment is with yourself and with the change you want to produce in your life. The investment for this workshop is 200 US dollars that is covered through PayPal from any country and with your normal credit or debit card that of your local currency. PayPal will automatically convert your local currency into US dollars. And that's my email right there for the transfer. So this is a summary. Six hours of specialized training, live and tailored to you. Nothing is pre-recorded. Support and follow-up group for in-between modules. Clearing of your main mental block. Taking a project to put it in action with what you are learning. A private session with me for wrap-up. And this is quality content of great value without the fluff. If you have reached this point in your life using the sabotaging mind, basically trial and error, having a less good time and putting it, putting in all that effort that takes to make up stories so you're able to suffer for things that aren't really happening, does it ring a bell? Imagine what you can achieve if you put it at your service and start to use your subconscious mind to program what you want. What you learn here is something that you can continue to use for the rest of your life. Once you break the limits of the mind, there is no turning back. You will have passed to the next level and the practice itself can lead you to achieve results on things that aren't even covered in this workshop because you keep expanding each time, transforming your everyday reality for having removed those barriers. I know this because I have done it myself. 
When I say that we are beings with infinite potential, I'm not talking about philosophy. I mean it literally. Breaking a limit expands your life. And when another limit presents before you and you break it again, you expand once more. And you can keep repeating that, breaking limits on and on. So the only limits are the ones that you think you have. When you learn the mechanisms of your mind, you connect with your potential and putting it at your command is the best thing you can do to make it your ally and support your projects. On the contrary, ignoring the mechanisms of the mind makes it become a professional saboteur who paints the worst scenarios for you tells you everything bad about you, everything you, are, you have not done or are never going to achieve. This has an impact on a physical, emotional, and psychological level and can greatly reduce your quality of life. We've all known people who feel frustrated or unhappy because they did not go after what they wanted, because they did not dare to take that step that will lead them to create something different simply out of fear or because they bought into the resistances of the mind operating in its more primitive form, which is survival mode. Knowing your mind is making it your friend and your assistant, it is the difference between that professional saboteur and an ally. This workshop will start in a few days and spaces are limited because it is my interest that each one of the participants gets the most out of it. If you are interested in taking it, you can still join. And if for any reason you cannot join now but are interested, leave me your email in the comments to notify you of the next seminar. The next date will be determined based on demand, so stay tuned through my social media. I want to thank you for your time and for having reached the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I wish you a very happy day, and remember, you can make anything possible.